Today I have got a review for you of a fragrance that's recently come out that's been called an amazing, super cheap iris designer fragrance. I want to tell you all about it, but before I do, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. Also give the like button a click if you like the video and let me know down in the comments, have you tried this one? What do you think about it? I am talking about this fragrance right here, Jupe Homme Le Parfum. And so this fragrance, I saw a video by Ash on Gent Sense where he talked about it as, you know, an iris forward, inexpensive, sweet fragrance. You know, sweet iris, uh, like I, I, the last couple years have been really um, delving into, uh, you know, Dior Ohm, uh, Valentino Womo Intense, uh, several other, um, the Givenchy Gentleman line, clones of Womo Intense and DHI and uh, uh, Dior Own Parfum. Like I've been going deep in iris because I love that lipsticky iris note. And I've talked, to, I've talked about all of those fragrances a lot on my channel. So whenever I saw this one, which I think I paid about $33 for this. It's a very inexpensive fragrance, as most jupe fragrances are. I thought, man, I've got to pick this up. It's a no-brainer. So I went over to Fragrance Buy, picked it up with an order. I think it was about $33. And so let me tell you what I think about it. The first thing that I'll say is I sprayed it on. I, I actually have already recorded a, a uh, first impressions of this video, but I was so confused during the video because it wasn't what I was expecting that I don't even think I'm going to be able to use the video. I spray it on and I'm looking, looking, looking everywhere for some kind of a lipsticky, waxy iris note and I couldn't find it. What I did get is the original Jupe Ohm along with a little more vanilla, uh, as well as there is a praline note, that sort of caramely sweet, very sweet note that you get in fragrances like uh, Paco Rabanne Ultra Red and several other fragrances that have even come out recently. And so I was getting that Jupe Ohm uh, with something definitely distinctly floral, uh, as well as these sort of warm, sweet notes. And so I'm wondering, and there's just, just a touch of lavender as well, just a touch of aromatics, but it's so sweet that you really got to dig to find that lavender. But I'm looking for my lipsticky, waxy iris, and I can't find it anywhere. So that's been about a week ago. It's so messed with my head that I just thought, I got to take some time with this one to really figure it out. So I've been wearing it about every other day. I'll spray, you know, four sprays on one hand in the morning, and I'll wear it for the first, you know, half of the day during the work day. Uh, and here is what I have discovered. It does have an iris note. I mean, it's listed in the notes, uh, you know, from Jupe as well as Fragrantica and reviews and things like that. But it is not a sort of lipsticky makeup bag kind of iris. As a matter of fact, uh, my nose couldn't even distinguish that iris note without that kind of three-dimensional fantasy lipstick iris note. But as I've spent time with it, I can tell you what this fragrance right here to my nose, Jupe Om Le Parfum, what it is, it's sort of like the heart is that original Jupe fragrance, that fruity, sweet, somewhat floral Jupe Om, but it's wrapped in a vanilla and praline you know, extra or not even extra, but just different sweetness, a gourmandy kind of sweetness. And it's got a floral iris note right at the foreground, but it's just a different take on iris. It's not a lipsticky iris. It's also not like a Prada Loam uh, or, you know, I could name a bunch of fresh iris or oris fragrances like Reflection Man. It's not that either. It is a little bit powdery, but it's just the Maybe this is what the flower of iris would smell like. I don't know if I've ever smelled one before, but it's a floral note uh, that supposedly this is iris, and I can definitely pick out that floral note, and it reminds me of something like is in Dior Ohm, but it doesn't have that interesting three-dimensional lipsticky kind of vibe. And so 
Some of you are going to relate to what I'm saying. If you're not really into fragrances, I probably sound like a madman. That's okay. I get it. So this one is a different take on a sweet iris fragrance, Jupe Homme Le Parfum. If you're looking for that lipsticky, waxy iris, there is just a hair of something waxy, but you're not going to get what you'll get from DHI or Givenchy Gentleman EDP. It's something different, but it's still an interesting fragrance. If you like very sweet fragrances with a gourmand edge and a little bit of a floral nuance, a touch of lavender that's almost not even there. That's what you're going to get with this one right here, Jupe Homme Le Parfum. But I want to know in the comments, how many of you have picked this up? Do you get a distinct iris note in the way that you get with all the big iris fragrances that I mentioned, the sweet iris fragrances? What do you think about it? Did this confuse you when you first opened it up? The way that I heard it described in a couple review videos is not my experience but it could be my own, you know, biology. It's so interesting, the comments that I'll get on some fragrances, people experience fragrances so different. And I am not presumptuous enough to think that the, the way I experience it is the way that everybody does or everybody should. You know, I'll have some 12 hour beast mode fragrances and then people will comment underneath, you know, you're full of crap, you're shilling for the companies, this is a 30 minute fragrance. Most likely that person is going nose blind or it something about their skin chemistry totally cancels it out. To date, I've never done a paid promotional video or anything. I hope to do some in the future, get some free stuff sent to me, but to date I never have. So I always think those comments are so ridiculous. The reality is just because I experience something one way doesn't mean that you will. And so I'd love to know how you've experienced this fragrance down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. I'm Justin. This is Seattle Sense.